Hi, first graders. I'm Mrs. Caird, and I am very excited to be with you today. We're going to be talking today about some words that have the long vowel I sound with an E at the end of the word. So let's look at some words right now. And, all right, so our first word has is K-I-T. It just has one vowel in it. So that means it's a short vowel sound. K -I -T kit. Can you say that with me? K -I -T kit. Super. All right, let's go to the next one. Now we have K-I-T-E. We have an E at the end of the word, which is going to make the I say its name. So we're going to sound it out. K -I -T kite. Say that with me. K -I -T kite. So I consonant E says I. Let's look at another one. We have D -I -M, short I because the I is the only vowel. So we're going to sound it out. D -I -M. Say that with me. D -I -M. Dim. Super. Let's look at the next one with an E on the end. I consonant E says I. So let's sound it out. D I M. Dime. Say that with me. D I M. Dime. Very good. Okay, let's look at another one. One vowel in it. So it's just a short vowel sound. So we have I -d hid. Say that with me. I -d hid. Super. All right. Now we're going to put an E at the end. I consonant E says I. So I -d hide. Say that with me. I -d hide. Super. All right, we're going to look at one more. This one has the blend in the front. Tw -i -n. Twin. Say that with me. T -w -in. Twin. Super. What do you think the word's going to be when we add the E on the end? Did you say T -w -in. twine? Then you were correct. Let's sound that one out together. T -w -ein. Twine. Very good. Okay, so we see I consonant E says I. The E doesn't say anything. It makes the I say its name. Okay, let's look now at some sight words that we're going to see in the story. One is were. And another is they. So let's look at were. Can we spell that together? W-E-R-E, -E, were. Let's do that one more time. W-E-R-E, -E, were. Super. Okay, let's look here. We have the letters for the word, but they are all mixed up. Can you either on a piece of paper or on uh, with your finger on the table spell the word correctly using those letters all right let's check did you spell w e r e then you were correct super all right let's go to our next word they t h e y can you spell that with me T-H-E-Y, they, very good. All right, here we have that those letters not spelled correctly. Again, on a, with a pencil and paper or with your finger writing on the table, write that word correctly, spell it correctly to make they. Okay, let's check. Did you spell T-H-E-Y? Super job. 
You are so smart. Very good. Okay, and one more thing before we read the story. We're going to look at some words that you might not be familiar with in the story that we'll see. Um, one is embers. And embers are these little pieces of wood after the fire uh, has gone out that um, are very hot and bright. Another word you're going to see is glinted, which means shined. You can see that it's glinted over the water. Okay. Two more. Dusk is the very late evening. It's about to be dark. And ignite means to start on fire. All right. Super. So now we're ready to read our story. So let's switch over to our story. And here we go. The story is called My Summertime Camping Trip. Do you see a long vowel I word? It is part of this compound word, summer time. I consonant E says I. Super. All right, so My Summertime Camping Trip, written by Laura Appleton Smith. I mean, she's the author. And it's illustrated by Kienyo White. That means that she drew the pictures. All right, so I'm going to read and you're going to follow along. And every time you hear a long vowel I word, or you see the E at the end making the long I, give me a thumbs up. Okay, we're ready. This summer, Mom, Dad, Mike, and I went camping. We packed our van with tents, sleeping bags, and backpacks and set off on the long drive to get to the campsite. Mom packed a picnic basket and we snacked and sang songs to pass the time on the ride. As the miles went by, there was less and less traffic on the drive. There were pine trees and rivers and hills outside. At last, we arrived. Dad stopped the van at campsite number nine and told us, it is time to set up camp. Mike and I picked a flat spot for our tent under a big pine tree. Our tent was a little tent with red and white stripes. We put our sleeping bags in it side by side. Mom and Dad's tent was a bigger size. They picked a flat spot next to the pond and set the big tent up there. By the time our tents were up, it was six o'clock. Mom asked Mike and me to collect sticks and logs for the fire. We set off into the trees. Squirrels ran up tree trunks as we went past. When we got back, Dad had set up a ring of rocks as a fire pit. It was getting to be dusk and a fire would be nice. Dad stacked the sticks and the logs in a pile inside the ring of rocks and lit them. The fire crackled and snapped as it got hot. Mom had a grill rack to put on top of the fire to grill hot dogs and buns. I had never had hot dogs grilled on a fire. They were the best hot dogs I had ever had. I liked the hot dogs and I liked the smell of the fire. I also liked the light that the fire cast on us as we sat around it. 
But what I liked best was dessert. We stuck marshmallows on long sticks and put them into the fire. The marshmallows got, they stuck to our fingers as we pulled them from the sticks and bit into them. After dinner, mom handed Mike and me flashlights and buckets. She asked us to go to the pond and fill the buckets and bring them back to, to the fire. The light from the fire glinted on the ripples on the pond and fireflies blinked in the night. Back at the campsite, we dumped the buckets on the fire to put it out. Mom told us that we must put out the fire so an ember would not jump from the fire pit and ignite the trees. At last it was bedtime. I was so happy to be in our tent. Mom and Dad tucked us in, then they zipped up the zipper on the tent flap. Inside the tent, Mike and I were snug in our sleeping bags. We had fun casting outlines of animals on the inside of our tent with our hands and our flashlights. When we got tired, we clicked off our flashlights. As I drifted off, I was happy because we still had five more nights of camping and five more nights of marshmallows for dessert. And we did. The end. All right, so did you see those sight words or those vocabulary words? Let's go back and find them. Well, first, we have page five. Here's our word, were. There were pine trees and rivers and hills outside. And I bet you saw quite a few words that had the long I in them or heard them. Uh, we have just in this one, pine and outside, another compound word, miles up here and drive. So quite a few on, on the page. Okay, so there's were. Let's go to the page where we have they. There's they. They picked a flat spot next to the pond and set the big tent up there. Good, so they. All right, and how about our vocabulary words? We've got page 13. Here is, it was getting to be dusk and a fire would be nice. So it's getting dark, so they're gonna need to have a fire to be able to see. And fire is a long I word, I consonant E, so is nice, good. Okay, so we have dusk. Now we're gonna find our next word, and that is the word glinted. Here's glinted. The light from the fire glinted on the ripples on the pond and fireflies blinked in the night. Okay, so there's fire, flies, long I words. All right, glinted, so it's shining. All right, and our last two words are in the same sentence. Mom told us that we must put out the fire so an ember would not jump from the fire pit and ignite the trees. Ember are those little glowing pieces of wood when the fire goes out, and ignite means to start a fire. And ignite is another example of a I consonant E word where the I is long. So you've got a short I and a long I in that word. Super. All right. So hopefully you noticed a lot of long I words that had the E at the end. Very good. 
All right, so we're going to move on to our next part, which is the homework packet. So I want to show you what the homework packet looks like for this week. Let me get it up. All right, hopefully we got it. OK, so there are um, a lot of pages. There are pages for each day. You do not need to do all of the pages. Um, and you, if you can print them out, that would be great to work on. But you don't need to, be, to print them out. You can put the screen up and just write on a blank piece of paper and answer the questions. So on this packet, you've got a lot of good comprehension questions to work on. And you've also got some spelling activities as well. I want to go over the sound boxes here and, um, and show you how we do the sound boxes when we have that um, the E at the end of the words. So I'm going to go over a few things with you here. And let me get to that slide. All right, here we go. Okay, so for our sound boxes, let's think back to our word kite that we did. We'd put the K in there, K, I in the middle, and then our third box t, is the sound T here. Notice that the E goes in the same box as the T because it doesn't make its own sound, it's silent. So this is how we would do the sound box for kite. K, I, T, kite. Super. Let's look at our next word that we did, which was dime. So we have D, D, I, M. And there's the E with the M because it makes one sound. We don't hear the E. All right. Hide would look like this. H, I. I, D, the D, E in the last box. And then our last word we talked about, twine. We are going to have a sound for the T, then W, then I, N. And there's what twine would look like. OK, we're going to have, now it's your turn to spell some of these long I words. And again, you can either write them on a piece of paper or you can use your finger and write on the table. So the first word I'm going to have you try, you write, thinking about our rule. I consonant E says I. And the first word is time. We saw time was in our story a few times. Summertime for the title and bedtime. So just spell the word time How about that all right time let's check did you spell t-i-m-e super job very good all right here's your next word to write spike spike how are you going to spell Spike, sp, Ike. All right, you got a blend in the front. Let's check it. S P I K E, super job. All right, and the last word for you to spell to write is white. So, white, the color word. That has a digraph in the front. Think about how you're going to spell white. This is kind of a tricky one. OK, let's check. Did you remember the WH? Then I-T-E. So super job. Hopefully you remembered your E at the end of those words 
to make the I say its name. Very good job. Okay, so one more thing, it might be a good idea to come back and reread the story, uh, listen to it again, listen for those long I words. Um, and one more thing to remind you about, this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. So I know that your teachers miss you all terribly and would love to hear from you. So think of something that you can do to show your teachers your appreciation. Maybe a card or a picture for them. Um, ask someone to help you send an email to them. Think about a way that you can thank your teacher and show their appreciation. All right, first graders, I had fun today. You did a wonderful job, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.